in the working trial balance, you used autofill to allocate map numbers to accounts. How did the software know how to allocate the map numbers? That's an excellent question. In working papers, in the trial balance, we have certain properties that are available. Let me just uh, clear out the map number column again here for you. Now, in my file, I had the ratio class already set up. And if you're importing from, say, QuickBooks, quite often you will get the ratio class already built in because it's associated with the QuickBooks account numbers. So with the ratio class associated with the account, what happens is the auto map will look at that ratio class property, go into the mapping database, and in the ratio class column in the mapping database, it will take a subset of accounts that match that same property. Once it's got the subset, it goes back to the trial balance account description and attempts to apply the most appropriate map number based on description from that subset. So, if I go back to Tools, Options, Autofill, and choose Auto Map Now, it does it very quickly, and it shows up in my trial balance. Now, we put on a warning here because we want the user to know that it has been automatically mapped, and we're using some fuzzy logic there, so the map number needs to be verified. To verify the map number, I find the easiest thing to do is right-click on the name column heading and show the map number description. With the two of these side by side, it's very easy to tell if that's the appropriate map number assigned to the account. If it is, we can move over to the right hand side of the map number column, hit the check mark, and that will accept the item. Now if I'm scrolling through and I happen to find one that's incorrect, like the gains and losses on disposal and goods and services is my example, what I can do is I can just delete that. Everything else is correct. I have the ability to select the entire column by right-clicking on the column heading and hitting Select Column, and then checking off any one of these items. With the one account not assigned, I would just go to Account, Assign Mapping Numbers, and this is the same thing I would do if I've imported a new, chart of a, uh, new trial balance in the following year, and I've got a new account. And I want this to go into my Gains and Losses, which is 361, Map, and OK. So that is how we deal with the auto mapping.